read from Psalms 13. And this is the uh, Psalm of David. He's talking about depression. Now, I want to frame this by telling you David was a mighty man of God. He was highly anointed. He had a powerful destiny. Uh, it is said that he had a heart after the Lord. And yet, David struggled with depression. So it begins by saying, How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Many times, Christians, disciples of Christ, think that the Lord has forgotten them because their life is not going in the way that they thought it would to go, or their prayers go, in, go unanswered, or their destinies haven't been fulfilled. They know that the Lord has given them a certain vision. Prophetically, they've held on to that, and yet it hasn't been fully fulfilled. And so he's crying out, you know, Lord, are you going to forget me? How long? He says, how long will you hide your face from me? It's almost as if you know the Lord is there, but you can't feel, you can't feel his presence. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? Again, depression is, true depression is, is from one day to the next. You're not able to overcome it. And you take counsel in your soul. In other words, you're thinking a lot of dark thoughts. You're thinking depressive thoughts. This is the type of counsel you're taking. Your emotional state is not a good one. Sorrow and sadness. Uh, verse 3, consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes. He's calling out to the Lord for intervention. Lest I sleep the sleep of death. Here we can see that depression can actually lead to physical death in people. It can weaken your immune system, but also... Depression often leads to uh, suicide. It, your suffering becomes so, so uh, strong that many people think the only way out is suicide. So he's saying, lest I sleep, the sleep of death. Lighten my eyes, Lord. Verse 4, lest mine enemy say I have prevailed against him. You know, our enemy is not flesh and blood. We may think it's flesh and blood, but it's never flesh and blood. Uh, we have an enemy. Satan is our enemy. The, the rulers of this world, uh, wicked spirits in high places. Uh, we, we know that from Ephesians 6. And the enemy is always going to find a place in your life or an opportunity to oppress you. In verses 5 and 6, he ends this uh, short chapter by saying, But I have trusted in thy mercy. Very, very powerful. We serve a God of mercy, and he sees your sorrow. He actually understands your sorrow because Christ has been tempted in all points as we are tempted. As a matter of fact, if you read Hebrews 4, 15 through 16, you'll see that we have a high priest who is Jesus, who is able to sympathize with our weaknesses and our temptations. He knows exactly how you're feeling because he too was called a man of sorrow and he had many trials and he he was human so he could feel he can feel your human weaknesses truly put our trust in the Lord that he will prevail for us because he is a merciful God my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation you're actually saying I know I'm going to get through this Lord and my my heart's going to rejoice in the deliverance that you're going to get me. See, when you're in this type of depression, a lot of times you start listening to your thought life or to voices within. You need to stop that. You need to stop listening and start speaking to yourself. Instead of listening to yourself, talk to yourself. And talk yourself out of depression or bowing down to depression by looking forward and moving forward and know that things are going to get better and that you are going to be delivered. You actually speak that to yourself. You learn to what? Encourage yourself. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. In the midst of your depression, like David, he said, I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing unto the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. In other words, David knew that in the past the Lord had delivered him. And you have to look at your life 
your past life and see the many milestones in your life where things look really hopeless. But you know what? The Lord prevailed for you. So that's why you can sing in the very midst of that.